Also new this morning, when it comes to our long term health, few things are more intimidating than Alzheimer's disease. Absolutely, and it turns out this is Alzheimer's Awareness Month. And as the experts point out, there are actually some things that you can start doing when you're young to try to avoid it. New this morning, John Shumway is here to explain. Good morning, John. Good morning. You know, if there was a pill to prevent Alzheimer's disease, I would imagine there would be a line to get it. But there are things that you can actually do right now to help protect yourself. While scientists in the labs of the world search for a way, a vaccine, or something to prevent a disease that devastates families, it is called the long goodbye. 70% of its victims are women. Here are a few things that might help keep it at bay, at least for a while. Number one is getting about 150 minutes of exercise a week. Exercise multitasks. First and foremost, when you exercise, a chemical is released in your brain immediately and over the long term that supports your memory system in the brain. Dr. Jessica Caldwell of the Cleveland Clinic says the exercise can be moderate, like a brisk walk. Second, make sure you get the right amount of sleep. When we sleep, during certain stages of our sleep and not others, our brain actually clears debris. One of the types of debris our brain clears is amyloid. And amyloid is a protein that builds up in unhelpful and pathological ways when it comes to Alzheimer's disease. In addition, manage your blood sugar and your blood pressure, quit smoking, moderate drinking, and try to maintain a healthy body weight. Dr. Caldwell suggests consider the Mediterranean diet. Mediterranean style means increasing healthy fats like olive oil and fatty fish, as well as increasing green leafy vegetables and whole foods overall, avoiding processed foods and avoiding red meat. Now, Dr. Caldwell says that diet is good for your brain and for your heart. She says none of these suggestions are for later in life. They're for now to best head off the possibility of Alzheimer's later. Interesting to think about attacking it this way. So how young should you be when you start these habits? I don't know if you noticed in our video, we were showing young people who were working out and doing these things. That was on purpose because Dr. Caldwell says in your 20s, you should adopt these things for a lifetime, although she says it's never too late to start. She also adds that we know now that the impact of these lifestyle adjustments do impact Alzheimer's. Had we known it 30 years ago, it's estimated 40% of the current Alzheimer's cases might have been avoided. Wow. That is major. Like what you just ended with there, right. that is startling. All right, well, we now have the information, so moving yeah. forward, hopefully people will follow what you had to say. Yeah, That's John, all. thank you. It also reinforces how important it is to take care of yourself. Absolutely. You know? Yeah, and, and across the board.